from this class we are starting with the next segment of working capital management and that will be titled as cash management and this will be the first lecture on cash management within cash management we will first focus on this very very interesting part that is preparing cash budgets now this is something that will be testing out your simple common sense this is a topic where no big knowledge background is required but yes presence of mind and application of simple common sense is definitely definitely required how alert you are while solving a question that can be tested over here now what is all about preparing cash budgets a simple thing right from the stage where you have started learning accounting you would have learned receipts and payments account correct where you are recording receipts and payments you have learned how to prepare a cash book this is exactly the same but with one major difference receipt book or you can say a receipt and payment account or cash book that is prepared after the transaction getting over here we are making a budget here we are making an estimation of what would be our probable receipts and what would be our probable payments over the coming months if we can trace out that there is going to be a shortage in a particular month we will be planning some arrangement of short term funds for the same if all of a sudden that shortage arises we will be into trouble for example the coming month that is uh, january february march of 2022 if i know that in the month of february when i will start my travels i will have an outflow of 3 lakh in that one particular month only and only towards my travel and other expenses and if i plot that on a budgeting basis when i am in the month of december 2021 i am making a plan for february 2022 that what will be my receipts and payments in that month based on expectation of course and then i come to know that from all my collectibles that is from all the places where i am going to receive money the total amount of receipt is going to be just 2 lakhs and total payments are going to be 3 lakhs so can we agree that i will be facing a shortage of 1 lakh now what will be beneficial suddenly in the month of february i should know that i have shortage of 1 lakh or two months prior i am already knowing as per my plan that i may have a shortage of 1 lakh rupees in the month of february and i pre plan the short term arrangement of funds right from the beginning so what i'll do is i will approach a money lender and i'll ask that money lender that dear sir during february i will need rupees 1 lakh as a cash advance and what i will do is by month of uh, march i will pay it back to you in one month's time i'll give it back to you because i know when it comes to the march month i'll be having enough collection and there'll be not significant amount of payments so march month i can repay my short term debt so i will have a pre plan short term debt to be raised in the february month and will be repaid in the month of march now why should i be quick in repayment of my short term debts short term debts are generally arranged at a higher interest rate and therefore if you are not prompt in repaying your short term debt unnecessarily that interest burden will be there upon you likewise can you understand that there may be certain months ahead where i have too much of receipt and very little amount of payments and unnecessarily i'll be having big amount of cash balance lying in my bank's current account now bank's current account does not yield any interest correct bank's current account will not yield any interest so what i should do if i know that i have a cash surplus in a particular month i should invest that money for short term now when you have to do this short term borrowings and short term investment for managing your cash imbalances question will generally convey to you that this is the minimum amount of cash balance that you must maintain in your bank account and this is the maximum amount of cash balance you should maintain in your bank account so what if the cash balance is supposed to go below the minimum balance 
you need to make arrangements by short term borrowings if the cash balance is above minimum balance no problem but if the cash balance is about to exceed the maximum cash balance we definitely will have to do something what we will have to do is we will have to invest that money for a short term now precaution that you have to exercise over here big precaution suppose you have some short term borrowings already and then at one later month you are having surplus don't try to invest your money don't try to invest your surplus money first you should utilize that surplus money to repay your short term borrowings correct it doesn't make sense that one side you have borrowings and other side you are making investments because generally what will happen borrowings will be at a higher interest rate and your deposits and investments will be at a lower interest rate therefore when you have some borrowings outstanding and you have some cash surplus arising in a particular month you should first pay off that amount of borrowing on top of that if you have some surplus definitely you can invest likewise likewise if you had surplus cash balance at the early stages and you have invested that on short term basis and then you are facing a forecast deficit in a particular month you should not directly tend to borrow you should first sell off your investment you should encash your investment and put that money into your usage instead of raising the borrowings in spite of selling the investments in spite of making encashment from the investments if you still have shortfall definitely you can go ahead and borrow now when you borrow you will have to pay interest generally these kind of arrangements are on monthly basis so every month depending upon the balance of your borrowings you will have to pay interest likewise if you have made investments on month to month basis you will recover interest so when will you have investment income and when will you have borrowing cost that is in the other words i would say interest expenses so sometimes you will end up earning investment income and sometimes you will be having interest expenses now these will be short term investments and short term borrowings there may be other long term investments and long term borrowings also on that we don't have frequent receipts and payments affecting that only and only interest components may arise if the question is informing you that there is some repayment of a long term borrowing or there will be a need to raise a long term borrowing then only you should consider all that so what happens every question in cash budget could be a unique question because it is all about forecasting your receipts and payments and information could be given to you in any style in any manner and that is one thing you will not get always a stereotyped question there may be information about receipts and payments that you are forecasting for the coming period and you will have to simply prepare cash budget you should just understand one thing suppose it is 6 months cash budget that you have to prepare january february march april may june you should always get started with the month of january necessarily because closing balance of january will become opening balance of february so you have to deal with month on month basis when it is a cash budget being prepared so i think i should directly take an example and uh, take you to a calculative question and it is there you will actually understand the depth of uh, these type of questions and what exactly is precisely required for a student under cash budget and cash management